Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage. Welcome to episode 8 of Civilization 5 as Babylon. We're playing on Immortal Difficulty, my first real attempt at Immortal Difficulty. I mean, we have restarted because I completely derped up the first attempt, but we only got to video 6 at that point. And, well, in fact, I only got about 5 minutes into video 6 before it all went horribly wrong. Have managed to keep Rome at bay, who I think are going to be the biggest problem in this game by a long shot. Although it is Hiawatha that's getting all the wonders. The problem Hiawatha has at the moment is he's fairly trapped. He doesn't really have an awful lot of room to expand. So there's potentially some uh, ability for us to go and attack him later on, which we probably will do. Declaration of Friendship has expired. That is with Austria. Um, let us go ahead and discuss Declaration of Friendship. Yep, she's happy to accept. That is fantastic. Uh, did I just see that um, Austria had... Denounced Rome. Everybody's denouncing Rome, which is really, really useful. England, are you in a position where you can actually declare war on Rome again yet? No, you still have that peace deal. Okay. Uh, how long is that going to last for, and who is Rome still at war with? Still at war with the Iroquois. At oh, no, you are at war. They've actually declared war on them again already. That was quick. That's fine by me. I ain't got a problem with that. Everybody else just wants to keep attacking Rome all the way through this game. Oh, hang on. Wow, would you look at that? Rome actually took York. Eng England are actually losing to Rome. Wow, Rome are, Rome are getting really, really strong here. I feel bad for England that uh, Rome has managed to do that. Rome must have a lot of units around. We definitely need to try and get some sort of tech advantage. What about the borders down here? You don't have touching borders yet. I'm hoping you will do at some point. You actually like me a little bit now. Would you be willing to declare war on Rome? No, apparently not. I have quite a bit of gold, fella. What if I was to give you 10 gold per turn? Ah. I somehow now wish I'd have actually tried offering him less money. Um, but, okay, fine. Everybody wants to go and try and attack Rome. We just need to try and keep everybody as busy as we can with Rome. And we need to start sneaking in and taking cities from the back. But it's going to be difficult. Because it's going to be really, really hard for me to get any units into position. Where they can do a decent amount of damage to Eritrium. I mean, it's still quite a small city. I guess I could try and get Bowman in onto these tiles here. Which would be outside of his territory and all able to fire on a single turn. But it's still very, very risky. Because I don't know how many units Rome has down here. And he does have walls, which are a little bit of a pain. But if I pull you down to this tile. And if I bring this guy around and see if we can get him in here, might be able to get another one there. We might actually be able to do this, but I'm not. Uh, I'm not 100% confident. Uh, let us go ahead and, it, with that in mind, get another crossbowman here. Um, you're not working particularly good tiles. Let's just uncheck those for the moment. Uh, we could go ahead and work this and get some extra science. And then, yep, yeah, just go and work a, a food and a production tile. Or, we, we're not bothered about the growth. We don't have a lot of happiness. Let's just go here and, and try and really um, get that crossbowman as quickly as we can. We could stagnate and get it in 14 turns. I'd sooner get the science and continue to grow, even though it's slowly. Uh, unit needing orders. You guys have finished the farm. Um... Oh, we can go and get mines now on these hills. That's a, an excellent idea. So that's what we're going to do with this worker. On to the next turn. I may even consider buying another bowman or two. Ah, they've now actually moved units in. Iroquois, England, Austria. You're still at war with all three of them. Almost looks like they saw them coming. They're only using composite bowmen, though, at this point. They still haven't... Um Now, if we put a unit there, you would be out of the range of the city, which would be very, very useful for us. So let's go ahead and start bringing you down. Uh, Caesar's constructing Notre Dame. Um, he's plotting against um, Boudicca, so we'll share that. Uh, Rome. Yeah, he's 10 turns. There's no way we would have beaten him, so I'm glad that I didn't start trying to do that now. Um, knowing what you know now, Boudicca, would you be willing to declare war on him? No. But maybe you will in the future. We shall see. Uh, we can purchase with faith. Let's go ahead and get ourselves another missionary and we'll send him to our own cities this time. Uh, you are going... Well, you're staying there. Let's put you on alert. You are going to build a mine. Get us some decent production going. 
So what I want to try and do is get a good deal of crossbowmen around um, Aretium if we can. Hierathor is plotting against me. Yeah, yeah. Shekhar is plotting against me. Everyone's plotting against me. It's fine. Let everyone plot. It's also a good idea that I get a fair few crossbowmen out. I mean, it's going to be a useful idea anyway, because the problem I'm going to have, if I don't have an army, the AI will see me as a pushover and start trying to declare war on me at every opportunity it gets. So at least if I have a decent sized army, I've got a defensive force. Yep, yeah, Rome's plotting against me. Apparently everyone's plotting against me. It's completely understood. Uh, we'll go and see if we can flip our religion on this city. This one's already flipped over to the wrong religion, which is very annoying. That's mainly because it's um, it's got that sea trade route going. But we'll try and spread our religion over here if at all possible. No, we will need to pop them again. That's a little bit of a shame. So the idea with you, if we can, is we want to try and sort of get around here. This is going to be very, very difficult trying to get through um, through this territory. I guess we could go down that way. I will just want to try and get two units round on this side if I can. Just try and have a little look and, and see if I can get close to Rome at all. Definitely want to try and get a few more crossbowmen in. Shaq is still fighting Austria. That's fine. So Austria are no longer at war with Rome. They are still at war with England. They actually completely raised York, which at least means potentially London could go and resettle. Um, are they still at war with England? Yeah. Oh, no, they are still... Oh, no, hang on. I'm misreading things here. Um, they're at war with the Zulus. But they're not at war with England or the Iroquois or Austria anymore. Um... I don't suppose England can declare on them yet. Go on. So they may have taken that in the peace deal. Yeah, you've got a peace treaty. That's fine. Um, what about you? We've got a declaration of friendship, so I very much doubt that he's going to try and attack me. You've probably still got a peace deal as well, I would assume. Yeah. So we've got to be careful here with Rome. Because there's a very good chance that Rome might actually attack us. And Rome aren't at war with anybody else at the moment either. Although Rome can only really get to us from here. They can't really get to us in any other direction, which makes life a little bit difficult for them. They've probably got a lot of units around. But that's what we want to go and have a look at. But it'd be nice if we can actually do something while we've got the advantage of having crossbows and they've only got composite bowmen. It'd be really nice if we could actually manage that. Why can't we get through there? Oh, because of the jungle. Well, we can potentially get through this way if they keep the other flipping side of it clear. Very, very tempted to try and get some more crossbowmen so we can get in here and at least take one or two cities away from them. Wouldn't be a great city. It does have a couple of hills. Look at that building farms on hills. Absolutely stupid. And we could try and liberate Buffalo Creek, although it does have salt, so I would be tempted to keep it if I could get it. Obviously, Mombasa's going to be disappointed at the, the trespassing now. Uh, we would actually be able to get through if it weren't for all these units in the way. Um, so we'll, we'll pass through there. What have we got here? Nippur has grown. So, yep, you work the, um, the tile there, the mine. So that'll give you some more production. You've also finished the library. Um, do we want to get the work boats? Probably do. We get more food from those tiles. Or do we need to build something here more important? We probably need to get ourselves... Well, a lighthouse would be better. Let's get the lighthouse first. At least the lighthouse will give us some extra production in there. Um, unit needing orders. You have finished that, which is very, very nice. Now, what would we like to do next? I guess we should go and get some more mines on these hills where we can. You guys want to move into this tile. They do have a trebuchet down here in Buffalo Creek. That's a little bit disappointing. Don't need open borders with you. So yeah, technically we could get quite a few um, crossbowmen in position. If we are quick enough. He's bringing his general in. I can half see him trying to use that to um, do a border pop. But we shall have to see what's going to happen.
Discovered compass. That's fantastic. Okay, you guys move down there. Right, there's city. We've got to be careful, of course, because if we stand in this tile, then we're actually in range of this city. So the only tile we can sort of safely stand on is this one. Um, Babylon has finished its workshop. Um, go ahead and quickly grab me another crossbowman, please. Unit needing orders. You're going to go there. So we can get another crossbowman on this tile. And we could potentially get one on this tile if we move the swordsman in. Hi, Hiawatha actually beat Rome to Notre Dame. Well, at least Rome didn't get it. If we do manage to take Hiawatha's capital, which is quite close to us. Uh, where is it? Onondaga's just a little bit further north. If we actually manage to grab Onondaga, which is quite close to us, there's going to be a lot of wonders in there. That's going to be a really, really nice city for us. And I'm sure we will end up having to go to war with him at some point. Now, we don't have a lot of happiness, which is another problem here. Um, you guys, I sent you there because I wanted you to work on a mine. You guys have finished the farm, but again, there isn't really an awful lot of decent tiles that you can get. I guess what you could do is you could come down here and um, maybe chop some of these jungles. What have you got queued after the university? Nothing. Let's go ahead and get a Colosseum queued up for the happiness. And we'll probably need to get walls there at some point as well, just so that we can... Um, Avoid any potential attacks from Shaka in the future. Um, you need to move up to this tile. Because then that way you are out of range of this city here. I w if, I, if I do attempt this, I really want to do it before either Rome calls my bluff. Or before, um, before the borders of this city grow too much. Now taking it will put us into negative happiness... But I might just raise it. I might just take it away from him. Just so it's not right next to my borders. Haven't really decided on that one yet. I guess it would depend what we get out of it. We do have a few more bowmen coming. But they'll just have to wait for now. So we can get one on this tile and one on this tile. We could potentially get another one down here. It would be nice if we could get them a little bit more quickly. I don't think Rome can really do an awful lot to me. We do have quite defensible positions. I might also try and get another swordsman out in Babylon as quickly as possible as well. Uh, gold per turn to Augustus ended. So we were selling him citrus. Do we have anyone that we could trade with? I guess we could trade it with England instead. They do have the money. Doesn't really appear to be a lot of luxuries on this map. There isn't really many people who um, can actually trade luxuries with me. Which is one of the things that's hurting our happiness. So we'll go ahead and remove this jungle. It'll, at least it'll give us a one food, one production tile. And the extra production will go into the city. So that is fine. But yeah, happiness is definitely going to be a problem. Do I really want to attempt this? I mean, even Buffalo Creek isn't that good a city. I mean, yeah, sure, it has... Um... Wow, Shaka has a lot of gold. Um... Sure, it has salt, but it doesn't have an awful lot else. It looks like Shaka's actually doing a bit of damage to um, Caesar down there. Uh, England, has expected, has started another city. Would you be willing to declare war on Caesar yet? I beg your pardon? No. Well, I was only asking. What about Caesar? Would you be willing to do the other way around? Um, would you be willing to declare war on... Right, you can't declare war on Hyaratha or Austria yet. You're already at war with Shaka. So, would you be willing to declare war with England? You would, for next to nothing as well. Um, so, how about two gold per turn? Three gold per turn? Right, this might end up with England losing York again, but at least it'll keep Caesar busy for a couple more turns. And that's good, because if he starts moving his units off to the east, that makes it a little bit easier for me to try and do what I'm going to try and do over here, which is hurt him, and hurt him hard. So we'll see how that works out. One turn away from completing the university here at the CAD. We're 11 turns away from... Well, 9 turns away now from getting astronomy. Um... 
In one term, we're also going to get both of our research agreements. So with that in mind, let's make sure we've got something queued up. Um, we probably want to go into gunpowder, possibly, and get, in, get musketmen. That could be quite useful. And then after that, we'll probably go into banking. Um, go on to the next turn. So we'll get both of these research agreements. Um, I'm going to refuse that deal at the moment because that was just to do the research agreement with you. Rome is taking back its guarantee of protecting Prague. Of course, Monbos is actually owned by England, so they might actually have a few units over this way. Um, do I still have spare citrus? Apparently I do. Um, let us get all of your money from you, actually. 217. It should be 360. So that's 217 plus um, four gold per turn. Three gold per turn. Two. There we go. It's nice to have the money in one big lump sum. It certainly makes it easier for upgrading units and stuff like that. Um, there is astronomy. There's both the research agreements have popped. Uh, what have we got here? Make a proposal. Hiawatha's leader. Click to propose. What could we have? I guess we could go for um, World's Fair. Everybody loves World's Fair. We have a unit here. Let's go ahead and... Wait, what terrain is this in it's on a hill let's go ahead and there is quite a bit of rough terrain so let's go ahead and give you barrage one let's get you down over here we also would like another one of those if we can get one how quickly can we get one five turns well actually no we've got another one coming let's go ahead and get ourselves a swordsman although we'll be able to get long swordsman soon we won't even bother with long swordsmen because we're, we're going to be going up to gunpowder and getting musketmen. Um, research agreement. We would like to get it going again if we can. Um, research agreement. Yeah, brilliant. Uh, what about Austria? We do have the money. Don't know if Austria do. Uh, no, they don't because we just took all their money from them, which is quite annoying. Um, well, they're making a fair bit of gold per turn, so... Well, we can leave it a few turns and let them gain some of their gold back. We'll just go ahead and turn these into mines. Are you working that? Yeah, you are brilliant. So that gives you a fair bit of uh, fair bit of produ production there. This caravan was going to Grand River. Let's carry that on. Keep the money coming in. And um, yeah, we'll just continue trying to move these crossbowmen down. Yeah, everyone seems happy with our proposal. Which is normally what you expect from World's Fair. It's one of those... Ah, oh, we've just been pushed back, unfortunately, because of a border expansion there. Which is a little bit annoying. And they are bringing forwards a long swordsman. Which is also problematic. Although they may well be just using it to fight against Mombasa. So we'll see what happens there. Akkad has grown, again, to tiles that are mainly useless. Um, you're all working just food tiles... You've just grown. Why have you... You seem to have locked in somewhere. Um, let's stop you growing for a little bit and put you into a tile that's going to get some production in a bit. Uh, so, yeah, you're going to have to stay there. I would like to move you into the territory, but we can't really do that until we declare on you. There is going to be a mine. You are going to come and stand on that tile there, and hopefully this guy will come and stand on that tile there. And we'll probably need to get ourselves another unit so that we've got some uh, another melee unit, just in case Rome manages to kill the one we have. Um, you still want open borders from me, which you're not going to get. I'm really hoping that these guys just get mainly killed by... Um, yeah, because the problem I've got at the moment is these guys are potentially just going to kill this crossbowman, which is not really ideal. This might be a little bit early to attempt this. Elizabeth has proven that the world is round. Yep, you're going to move into there. Now, the question I... The, the thing I've got is if Rome calls my bluff... And asks if I'm going to declare war on him. Yep, which is what he's doing here. What do I do here? Do I say yes and um, declare war now before I'm quite ready? Or do I risk becoming a backstabber? I think I'm going to... Um, yeah, I'm going to declare war on him. The reason I'm going to do that... I mean, he does get first shot, which is the annoying part here. Um, but the problem is, if I, I don't want to, want to end up becoming a backstabber. Now, he's actually moving his units in 
I can actually move this guy out and, and heal up. That's not a problem. So we might be able to... I mean, we've got quite a good um, aggressive position on him here. Unfortunately, these guys are also here, which is problematic. I'm going to move you back a little bit because you need to um, sort of become safe. You can fire on an enemy. Oh, right. We've got um, this city-state up here. Well, let's get you to the... Um, let's get you to safety. As much as we can. You are just going to start firing on this fella here. Um, Babylon has completed its swordsman. I'm going to start work on an observatory. And I think this swordsman... Um, well, actually, no. We'll just get... Um, We'll just get shock and we'll start moving down here to go and deal with uh, with this. I think what I'm going to do first is do my very best to try and remove this uh, long swordsman. Move in there. It's a little bit risky because we can't actually take a shot on that turn. Uh, this caravan is going to carry on to Linz. It should be safe going down there. And we'll do one more turn and then we'll end the video. We are in negative happiness at the moment, which is not good. Because that's giving us a combat penalty. And Rome's just made peace with Shaka. Now that's problematic. Looks like he's used heal instantly. It looks like he's actually coming down here to try and attack the city-state units, which is very, very good for me. Now, the question is, how much damage can I do to Eretrium? Or Aretum? I can never remember what place it's called. Also, is it going to be possible to get Austria or the Iroquois or anyone else to declare war on Rome? I might actually have a word with the Iroquois. Does anybody have any things they can give me for... No. So we're kind of in a little bit of a problem right now. Um... Boats. Well, we have you guys. Let's uh, move you to here and uh, fire. Uh, we can choose a production over here. We are going to um, start work on a circus because we need the happiness. In fact, we're not even going to do that. What we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and buy the circus so that we are less uh, negatively impacted by happiness. And um, I think we're then going to go into... What do we want to get here? Another workshop, I think. Unit needs orders. The question is, how much damage could we do to this city? And the answer to that question is not an awful lot. This guy's probably going to take damage if he stays there. So we're going to back up a little bit and, and heal him up. You're going to continue healing. You're going to continue to move forwards because, if anything, you might just provide a bit of a distraction. Um, did I send you there for any specific reason? Oh, no, I was just backing you up away from this guy, wasn't I? You were working on this tile. Um, there isn't really anywhere that I can send you that's what I would call massively safe. There are units coming in from this direction. Let's get you over here. And then we can go ahead and... Uh, oh, you can grab him now, can't you? That's a pain. Oh, well, we can grab him back. Uh, we want to try and get a, a, a mine over here if we can. So this will be the final turn. Maybe this war was a little bit hasty. He does have quite a lot of units down here and he is attacking this bowman. Although that has kept the other two bowmen, bowmen relatively safe. But we have now lost a bowman completely. Although the city is taking damage, uh, you want to go to war with Halle Celeste. I'd be much happier if you actually went to war with Rome. Well, at least they're going to sort of move out of the way now, which makes life a little bit easier. This city's going to end up in trouble, if we're not, not careful here. We could end up losing this city to a, to a city-state here. 
Right, they have a lot of units, um, but remember they can only take a they can only take a city with a melee unit. They can't take a city with a um, with a ranged unit. So let's go ahead and put you into the city because it'll give us oligarchy. Now, which of these units are ranged? I can never remember. Just my, my memory is failing now. Um, Galias. Galias is the ranged. So we'd have three units to try and take out here. Well, one's gone for sure. There's... No, that one didn't go. Can we afford to buy walls? No. And I bet we can't peace out with Rome yet either. No, we may well end up losing this city, which would be really, really horrible if we did. Um, can we sell something? Could possibly sell our vote on world religion. Yeah. What about world's fair? You would pay me for world's fair. Um, 50 gold? Don't think you get much more than that for world's fair. That gives me enough money to buy the walls here. I should have bought the walls before I returned fire. It would have given me some extra attack power. Now, can I get you to go to war with Rome? No way to do it. What if I was to give you 10 gold per turn, though? 12? 15? No, he's not really willing to do that. Okay, right, what do we do with these guys? Do we keep firing at the city? I think we do. We're not doing an awful lot of damage. You are line of... Oh, no, you can actually hit that guy. I think maybe you should. And we'll just have to keep swapping these units around. It's a real shame about this um, city-state up here, but there's not an awful lot that I can do about that. You guys should come up there where it's fairly safe. You guys are going to heal up for a turn or two. And that's all we can do on this turn. So you're going to have to wait until the next video to find out how this unfolds. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you are still enjoying Civilization V as Babylon. And I'll see you on the next video. Until then, goodbye for now.